A grateful nation mourns the passing of Belize's first Governor General, Her Excellency Dr. the Right Honorable Dame Manita Elmira Gordon. Born in Belize City on December 30, 1930, to parents May Dakers and Frederick Gordon, she was given the name Manita Elmira Gordon. Manita was the eldest of six children. Along with her brothers Ralston, Lincoln, and Robert, and her sisters Dorinda and Kelora, Manita received her elementary education at St. John's Girls' School and St. Mary's Primary School. She continued her education by attending the Government Training College in Belize City and by enrolling in correspondence learning from the College of Preceptors in Oxford, England. Manita later enrolled in the University of Nottingham and University of Birmingham on short courses in education. Later, she received scholarships to the University of Calgary in Alberta, Canada, where she earned her Bachelor of Education degree and a Master's degree in Educational Psychology. In 1980, she completed a PhD in Applied Psychology from the University of Toronto, Canada, and thus became Belize's first psychologist. Minita spent much of her professional life as a dedicated and well-regarded educator including her PhD dissertation on second language achievements in primary school students in Belize, Manita wrote, published, and presented several papers on various topics in Belize and abroad. Between 1946 and 1958, she served as a school teacher at the Belize Anglican Missions and taught at St. Mary's School in Belize City, at the Anglican Mission in Central Farm, Cayo, and at the Anglican Mission in Toledo. In the years between 1959 and 1969, she worked as a lecturer at the Government Training College and as a Government Education Officer from 1969 to 1981. She dedicated herself in service to the community by serving as a member of the Girl Guides Association since 1946, as a member of the Belize branch of the British Red Cross Society since 1951, and as a member of the Young Women's Christian Association since 1955. Up until 1976, Manita Gordon was a member of the National Library Board and a member of St. Hilda's College Board of Governors and similarly served as Deputy Chairperson of the Domestic Wages Council up to 1981. On September 21, 1981, she became Belize's first Governor General on the occasion of Belize's transition to independence. She would serve in this capacity until 1993. As Governor General, she distinguished herself for continued service by serving as chairperson of the Baron Bliss Trust, patron of the Belize Red Cross Society, Belize Hospital Auxiliary, Girl Guides Association, Belize Scout Association, and Belize Assembly of and for Persons with Disabilities, as well as many other organizations. During her tenure, Dame Manita Gordon established a scholarship fund to assist underprivileged female students to attend and complete secondary school. Belizeans also benefited from an annual scholarship in her honor to attend the University of Victoria, British Columbia. Many Belizeans benefited from these scholarships. Dame Manita Gordon was a lover of music and was keen on seeing the development of the Belize Defense Force Band, whom she was proud to feature at all events hosted at the Government House. She was also skilled at leather carving, making of stuffed toys and other crafts which she sold and would use the proceeds to support underprivileged children. In 1984, she was awarded by Queen Elizabeth II the dignity of a Dame Grand Cross of the Most Distinguished Order of St. Michael and St. George. GCMG. In 1985, upon Queen Elizabeth's visit to Belize, she was also awarded the dignity of a Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order, GCVO. Her proper title became Her Excellency Dr. the Right Honorable Dame Manita Elmira Gordon. She received many more awards and recognitions of service and appreciation in Belize and abroad during her time as Governor General. Throughout her life, Manita was family-oriented and dedicated herself to assisting her mother with caring for her younger siblings in their formative years. As a result, 
she grew together with her family, where she is well respected and loved by her siblings. She remained prayerful throughout her life. It is of note that during her final years, she could be heard in the silence of her room, praying for the children of Belize and for the government of Belize. She was a true Belizean professional, pioneer, and patriot. Her Excellency Dr. the Right Honorable Dame Minita Elmira Gordon passed away on January 1st, 2021 at 90 years old. Inspired by the life of her mother, Dame Minita Elmira Gordon lived her life by the motto, Aim High.